Aries, welcome to my channel if you're new. Welcome back if you're not. I want to thank everyone for viewing, liking, sharing, and subscribing. Please don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you like it. It does help my channel. I want to remind everyone also that this is a general reading. It's, it's likely that it's not going to completely resonate with everyone. However, it will for some. So those things that do resonate, take those. Those are yours. Leave the rest behind. And you also can check out your moon rising and Venus signs. They will give you messages as well, okay? So the first card we're going to get for you in this, what spirit wants you to know is, spirit wants you to know what's trying to birth in your life reading. The first card out from the soul's journey is adversity. Wow. I have used this deck for I don't know how long, and this is a card that has never come out yet. That's crazy. It says, I accept the challenges. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. Yes, they are. Okay, now we're going to get a motivation manifesto card because this is going to be Spirit's overall um, message to you for this reading. Okay, it says, we must be conscious and responsible for our beliefs and behaviors if we are ever to be free. Wow. We must be conscious and resp <laughs> responsible. I'm trying to read it backwards. For our beliefs and behaviors if we are ever to be free. This is about taking charge in your life. Moving forward, even though you're being challenged. It's a, it's a life lesson for you. Whatever this is, some of you are going through something challenging right now, and it is a life lesson. It could be a dark night of the soul period. It could just be one of those times that, you know, you're going through a challenging period, and it's just to teach you something. Okay, so now we're going to get a few cards from the Light Seers deck. Now, this is the holographic deck. So, when you see the cards, it's not anything I'm doing on my end. It is the cards. They're very cool, though. I love these cards. I love this deck. The Light Seers deck, period. It's a very cool deck. I love the artwork. And you have, ooh, King of Swords. So this could be your person. This would be a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. This could just be an energy coming through. This guy's always at the ready. He, he again, it's taking me to the challenges thing. He faces his challenges head on. This guy is always suited up and ready to go, whatever comes his way. So be at the ready is what the message here is from Spirit, okay? Be at the ready. And then you can handle the challenges. And that's all about being conscious, right? Mindful. Wow, now you have another king. Holy cow. Aries, you guys are climbing. You're climbing to a higher level because... You've got two kings here now, king of pentacles. This guy, everything he touches turns to gold. He's like King Midas. Look at him though, he's content. He's uncompromised in his position. He's got his money, he's got his loyal friend. This could be about you being loyal, 
someone else being loyal to you. Being loyal to yourself. Being true to you, right? But two kings here. That says a whole lot. Eight of Cups. If you notice in this deck, I don't know if you can see it in my camera, but it's supposed to be eight cups, right? She's got seven that have long been um, sunk into this water area here. She's got another one going down over here. This is the message I'm getting here is this is on its last leg, whatever this is for you. This could be, you know, a situation that you find yourself in, but you've turned away from it. It's on its last leg. So it's whatever this is, it's ending and you walk away and head toward the sun. You're moving toward the sun here when you walk away from this. Let's see if you get this so you can see it. It's pretty hard there. Now you can kind of see the sun. Because, okay, Spirit's trying to give me something here and I'm not. Okay, what is that saying? You, you're on. It's you. It's not the situation that's on its last leg. Spirit is telling me it's you. You, you're on your. Oh, I can't translate this properly, but you're on your last, like, oh, I wish I could get that. Maybe it'll come to me. Spirit, help me out here. It's, it's hit your last nerve. Thank you, Spirit. This is, that's it. You're done. You're walking away, whatever this is. Maybe that was the challenge to walk away, to make the decision to walk away and move toward something new because you do have something. The Ace of Pentacles is all about this newness. It's about the seed being planted and now the roots are going deep to bring the stability and the grounding. And that's when it starts to sprout above ground. The roots have to be deep and strong before anything can come to fruition above ground, okay? So you have to be strong here. You have to be strong. You have to be grounded. You have to go deep. You have to dig in, is what I'm hearing, in order for this new to grow. Now, the bottom of the deck and your overall energy here, yeah. Like I said, you're raising up. You've got two kings here. It doesn't go higher than that other than the emperor, but as far as the swords and the pentacles go, the king is it. You know, there's nothing higher than that. You are being raised and grown and evolving. You're raising your vibration. You're raising your consciousness to a higher level here. And she, the high priestess, is all about things not being seen, secrets, the unknown. And I'm hearing the untrue for some reason. So I, I don't know who needed to hear that. I don't know who that's for, but somebody, that's a message for somebody out there. I could link back to this loyal message here. Okay, so that is that. Now we're going to get Gaia Oracle for you. Purification, fire, bare essentials, the naked truth, and wholeness. Okay, so you are about to be enlightened, my friends. The clarity is on its way in. And that, or sorry, the high priestess, 
Like I said, it's the unknown, the uncertainty because of the unknown. But you are about to be gifted. I'm sorry about my stomach growling. You're about to be gifted with the truth. And it's going to make you feel a whole lot better. This sits on the King of Swords and the King of Pentacles. So this is what's going to help you reach this stature here. This is all about um, a new way of thinking and believing. And it could be around finances. But it's going to bring growth. It's going to bring um, whatever the truth is that comes in, whatever the clarity is. It's going to help you in those areas. And now you've got the search. Feeling lost, confused, and lonely. But look above her head. There's that burst of insight, clarity, the naked truth. And this sits on the King of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. And it's receiving this that allows you to walk away. Whatever this is, is playing on your last nerve. You finally get to that point where you just go, mm, I'm out of here. This is BS. I'm done. I'm going to go grow something new over here. <laughs> Yin Yang, creating harmony through balance. And it's going to sit on the Eight of Cups, the walking away, and this newness, this new grounded evolution of yours. It brings harmony through balance. You become very balanced and grounded, and your life will feel very harmonious when you get there. You're going through a transition here. That's very clear. Get connected with your higher self, your inner being, your God, spirit, whatever you want to call it, by way of meditation, going for long walks in nature, hot bath in Epsom salts and sea salts, whatever it's going to take for you. Now, when you meditate, you don't have to sit in, in meditation pose and ohm it. You can lay on a bed, you can sit in a chair, wherever. You can sit out in nature and just close your eyes and keep your mind still and quiet for 10 minutes. That's it. That's all it will take. Okay, now we're going to get a Whispers of Love for you. Oh, geez, my stomach. <laughs> I apologize, you guys. I hope you can't hear it, but it's pretty loud on this end, so I'm pretty sure you can hear it. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. But it's getting really good here today. Be in the present and dream of the future. When we dream, everything is possible. Isn't that a beautiful card? And look at the, look at the light. This is clarity, enlightenment. You have, the, this is on top of the purification and the search card. You're not going to be very feeling confused and lonely and lost for very long. You do have enlightenment coming in. The truth of a situation is on its way in. Oh no, we're not getting one of these? Okay, now we're going to move on to the secret language of light. And by the way, if you would like to know what decks I'm using, click on the title of this video. It'll drop down my description box and all the decks are listed there as well as the link to the extended for this video, okay? Healing. Yeah, you're going through a transition. Like I said, it's all about healing. But you may, you know, as you already know, you've... <laughs> You've been through it. You've gone through the dark night of the soul times. You have gone through some brutal healing times. When we go through those, you know it's all about healing what's trapped inside you. But because that's what's happening, it has to bubble up to the surface. We have to feel it all over again. Okay? But know that it's just, it's just feelings and thoughts. They're making their way out. Just let them go out. Don't, don't trap them in your head or in your heart. Just let them move out of you. Number five, it's all about change. 
this healing is going to bring change in your life and it sits on top of the confused lonely and lost and on creating harmony through balance you are shifting through this healing you're shifting out of that <laughs> place of feeling like your last nerve has been you know played with hmm okay now we're going to get an island time wellness card insane chemistry like each other equally and having fun this is what you're headed for if you can move yourself through the challenges this eight of cups challenge and allowing your vibration to raise and being being responsible for me isn't isn't the word I'm just gonna read it the way I'm feeling it for you we must be conscious for our beliefs there we must be conscious for our beliefs and behaviors if we are ever to be free yes be conscious of what you're thinking and feeling and in turn responding to or reacting to because the minute you diminish the negativity in your life you're going to have more good things coming in okay so You've got some passion coming in. You've got a partnership coming in that is going to be, it's going to have insane chemistry. Or if you're in a partnership, you're maybe going to the next level within that partnership, right? Walking away possibly from a way of thinking. And it could be around finances. And when you do that, you allow yourself to move into this, this new area, this new way of being and have growth in that direction. And it takes you here. So we're now going to get a Just Ask Oracle card. Something is not right for you at this time. And whatever it is, I believe you're walking away from it. I don't know what it is. It could be a person, a situation, or a thing, a way of thinking and believing, something you're, you're used to doing, a way of doing it. It's going to be different for everybody, and it's going to be a challenge to release it, apparently. And it could be this person coming in if you're single and you're looking for this special person. This insane chemistry relationship is on its way in, but it's not right for you at this time because you have to move through this challenge. <clears throat> okay, Synchronicity Oracle. I'm oh, sorry, this doesn't go there, it goes here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you have a long-term relationship on its way in or you are in one and it's moving to the next level. Look at this, this is marriage. So those of you that are already in a relationship, you're you're committing on an, on a higher level. Those of you that are not in a relationship yet, it's not right for you just yet. You got to work on yourself. We already talked about that. Okay. So now we're going to get what spirit is doing to try and help you here. What spirit is doing to help you birth this into your life? Okay, the energy, wow. Spirit's working hard in your favor, Aries. Ah, I know exactly what Spirit's doing. Number 16, all that glitters is not gold. This is a way of looking at things. I'm going to read it for you from the book, though. And you can look at it while I read. Just let me get a sip of tea here. 
Okay. Now, because this is about a relationship here, I'm going to read the relationship message for you. But first, the essential meanings are a need to see beyond the superficial, the desire to don a mask or dress something up to disguise its true nature, trying to be something you're not, chasing after every sparkly new thing, being mercurial. So the relationship message is this. Sometimes we try to become something we're not to impress others. We embellish a story a bit, adding some dramatic elements to make us more appealing. The real person becomes hidden behind the sparkle and shine. Then there are times when we don't see the true value of someone else because he or she may have may not have the glitz and glamour that seems so desirable. Now is the time to look past the surface, beyond the mask, to the essence of a person. Who that person is, not what he or she has or can give you, is important. See beyond the glitter and look for the inner glow. Use the eyes in your heart. Let go of artifice and let what is authentic shine. That might be what you're being challenged with, letting go of. Maybe you don't feel you're good enough for this person, so you wear a mask, trying to be someone you're not. Maybe they are, and you need to see through that. Um, maybe, maybe someone here has been always looking for that perfect someone, appearance-wise. And if this is your soulmate coming in, they might be different from your usual type, okay? For those of you in a relationship, um, try to be you. Try to see the real person that you're with. There's growth taking place here, for sure. And that's why, whatever this is that's not right for you at this time, that's why, because the growth has to take place. Spirit is trying to help you see the reality of a situation here, seeing the reality of who you are, who they are. Hmm. Okay, interesting. Um, I'm going to ask the guides your guides and spirit, what it is that you can and need to do further to bring this into fruition, to birth this into your life and have the manifested form. We're going to do that in the extended. Like I said earlier, click on the title. It'll drop down the description box and that's where the link for the extended is going to be. Um, those of you that are going over, I will see you over there. Those of you that are not, I love you guys, and I will see you next time.